Now let's review figure 14-3 and we're dealing with poles and where they were permanent magnets, we're going to make them electromagnets. How do we do this? Or how is it accomplished? Well, look at the very top of the illustration and we have current flow coming in and if it's a plus pole, then it's a north. But as it alternates below the scale, then the current flow becomes a south pole. And as the current alternates, those poles just keep changing, see? So a good illustration of it would be here. Current flow produces an north pole, as you see here. So as you see in the electromagnet, now these turns that you see there is either, uh, they could be lap or wave, and we'll get into that, you know, later in the book. But we have a north. Now notice as the current reverses, and goes from a plus to a minus as illustrated, then notice that same pole you see above becomes a uh, south pole. So you have a south pole instead of a north pole. And this is changing the poles that you saw in that uh, uh, illustration 14 uh, that we looked at. I believe it's 14-1 there too where we had the uh, poles and we had, and I said they were permanent magnets, north or south, and you couldn't change them. Well, when we have the current flow, as you see here, and we have alternating current, as that current alternates, it changes those poles, and that's what this figure 14-3 is illustrating.